Natural Mommy here today to do a first look for all of you and you guys. It has been a hot minute, a hot minute since I've done a Jujube first look. But let me tell you, this is Kawaii Carnival and it launches on the 26th. So right now I'm recording. It is like 12.30 a.m. on the 24th. So in two days, this print is going to launch. And you guys, if you've been here for any length of time, you know my love of Toki. And this one is so good. It's like the most beautiful pastel -y sherbet colors on the cutest background. And every time I look at this print, I see something new. So we can go ahead and look at the print a little bit more detail in just a minute. But I wanted to go ahead and do a first look for all of you. Now, I literally just pulled these bags out of the boxes. Out of the box? Not boxes. I just pulled these bags out of the box. I took some of the plastic off the hardware so we could talk about it. But I haven't even unzipped them to look at the inside lining yet so let's go ahead and get started and stay tuned to the end of the video i am going to do some print comparisons for you as well so here we go if you've been watching my channel for any length of time you know that this is the be right back and the be right back is my husband's absolute favorite jujube backpack style to wear so this is our preferred style of bag this and the be zealous if we're going backpack style with jujube so we went ahead and we grabbed one in the kawaii carnival print and you guys First thing I want you to notice is that the hardware on this bag is rose gold. So for those of you who are familiar with the Chromatics line of Jujube, this is the same rose gold that you find on the Chromatics line. It is absolutely beautiful. And then the zipper pulls, you'll notice say Tokidoki times Jujube, just like all of the Tokidoki collaborations do. And look at that detail on the back side of the zipper pulls. Now, every one of these style bags will have a different character zipper pull as well. There are nine different characters. There will be blind boxes that you can buy characters if you want to switch them out. There are lots of videos out there that talk to you about how you can remove these zippers, these zipper pulls, and add the new ones. But for those of you who don't know, these are the nine potential characters that you can get. So, in theory, all the Be Right Backs will have the same character, all the, you know, the B sets will have the same characters, all of the fuel cells will have the same character but there's a potential that you could get one that's different just because these are put on by people, I believe, and people are fallible. But this bag right here, the Be Right Back, mine has the Sneaky Snacker. He's so cute. So, so cute. I'm not sure if there's another one on the other side again. Like I literally just pulled this bag out, but you can see there's still plastic on this one. So I think he's the only character charm on this bag. So this one has the Sneaky Snacker. So if you get the Be Right Back, in theory, that's the one that you'll get. And again, the hardware is rose gold. And the other thing that's going on with the Tokidoki collaboration bags now is that there used to be metal name plates here, face plates. They've moved on to the fabric tags. And I actually really like the fabric tags. One, they don't snag my clothes. And two, they're a lot smaller. So you get a lot more of the print. They're not covering up as much potential cute print that you want to see. And they just kind of understated. I really, really like it. So this one happens to be a white label with some black trim. Now, for those of you who want a detailed look about all the ins and outs of what a Be Right Back looks like, I will up in the art cards right here and down in the description box below, link my Jujube playlist. You guys, there are over 70 videos in my Jujube Alone playlist. I, I like to talk, I like to show detail, so click on any of the Be Right Back videos and you will see every inch, every nook and cranny of the Be Right Back. This style has not changed, so it will look the same. What is different about this one is just the zipper pulls, the color scheme, all that kind of goodness. So one of the things that I'm noticing, I was noticing it as I was introducing this bag and I was trying not to get distracted, is that the symbol for the GGB Pink Lady used to be the Pink Lady Star. And this is what this reminds me of, is the GGB Pink Lady Star. So every time I see that, that's what I'm going to think of now. But this bag is just so full of cute detail. Um, one of the things I wanted to show you is that a lot of the characters are carrying bags. Like here's Donatella. And look, she's got a little Donatino bag. I know that uh, Moz is carrying a bag. And so is Sandy. I don't know that I have them anywhere on this. I've got to look again. I just pulled this bag out. So I'm not sure if I have any of them. But they're so, the characters are just so full of detail. Um, so right here, I don't know who this is. She's a new character to me. But she's got a little backpack on. There's just so much detail, you guys. Look at the Boba Twins up here. Let's see here. Let's move on to the side. This is also a new character to me, this little Boba, little Boba unicorn right here. 
I mean, even you guys look down here at the, the roller coaster scene that has Donatella and Latte. You got Donatino, you got the sneaky snacker down here. There's literally just so much detail to all of the characters. Everywhere you look, you just see something else. Oh my god, we got little strawberry latte up here. Strawberry milk, we got strawberry milk up here taking a selfie, it looks like. So cute. All right, so the outside zipper here on the outside of the bag looks like it's a really soft pink color. So we're looking like we have the soft pink here. And again, the colors on this bag are very sherbet-y. So lots of like a peach or apricot kind of sherbet color, lots of pinks, yellows, really light yellow. And the inside of the bag looks like it is, okay, like a very peachy, apricot-y kind of color. Oh, it's really, really cute. Really, really cute. What does it say? Look at this. So it's like an admit ticket, like you're going to a carnival. So cute. And then we have the embroidery, the Toki Doki embroidery symbol right there. Really cute. Okay, so it's looking like, you guys, all right, so it's looking like, and I did not watch any videos before making this because I didn't want to spoil the surprise for myself so I could take a really original first look. But what I'm noticing is it look, the outside zipper is pink. Do you see this? But this inside zipper is like a peachy apricot color that's matching um, the inside lining. So this bag has two zipper colors. And again, remember the hardware is a rose gold color. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the bag. Really cute. Little Pop-Tart Kitty is so cute. If he has an official name, I am unaware of it. So cute. Okay, and again, so I, I literally just pulled these out and took some of the plastic off. You can see the tag is still hanging here. So this is what it looks like when it comes to you and you have that little one that talks to you about the different zipper pulls that you can get and how to change them out. I think it talks about how to change them out. It does. It has directions on it. And the zippers here, you have one of the Toki Doki times Jujube. And then here, the Toki character is the honey bear, which is Bee Sweet. His name is Bee Sweet. And so I have more of the roller coaster print up there on the top. And again, I do have packing videos on the fuel cell. So for anybody who's interested in uh, watching a packing video on the fuel cell, again, check the description box below. Just seeing if there's anything new that we should discuss. Just kind of give you guys a better look at the print with all the detail. Little terror right there, so cute. I'm gonna have to go back and count how many times I say it's so cute here on this. Oh, on the back side, oh, look at this. I love this part. So I think that so we have part of Carmel right there. I think she was over here too. Yeah, she's right there eating some cotton candy. It's just so much detail. Like every time I look, I just see something else. There's really not a bad print placement. Um, again, this character is brand new to me. I'm not sure who that is. Let's see who's on the bottom. Oh, um, I love the balloons right here. Okay, let's do some print comparisons though. So I want to do this like this maybe, and then let's open up. Let's open up this one so we can look at the print and then we can look at the inside as well so you can see what it looks like with the print and then with the inside so let's start with the newest chromatics line um i did not get a b set in the Kawhi carnival i thought that the chromatics was going to look so good with it i didn't think i needed to so this is the water print and i think that this is probably my favorite one with this i mean look at how beautiful. And again, remember all the chromatics line has the rose gold hardware, which matches the hardware on the Kawhi Carnival. But that just looks so nice. You can see it with the internal lining here and the outside print. And then we have the linen. The linen looks really good too. I mean, the linen's gonna match anything. The linen looks stunning. So good. I mean, just look at that. That's just perfection. And then one of the new colors too is the um, is the golden amber. 
So I like this one. I think he might match. He looks better like if you were to match him up by the um, sneaky snacker. He looks pretty cute up there with that one. That's what this one looks like here. And then another obvious choice, and this one's packed. I literally pulled this out of my other GGB bag, so it's packed full of clothes, is the Blush Chromatics. And the blush, okay, so the blush chromatics, for anybody who wants to know what color this zipper is right here, this zipper matches perfectly the blush chromatics color. You see that? That's like a perfect color match. So, so far, I think that watercolor linen and blush are my favorites. And then I didn't pull out any olive because there is some green in here, but I did pull out the Tibetan red to see. Okay, Tibetan Red looks good. Not my favorite. This is probably my least favorite of the chromatics with this one, but still looks good. I have Pebble here too. We haven't looked at Pebble yet. So here's Pebble. Okay, Pebble looks good. So Pebble looks like it matches like the toaster down here. And then let's see what other parts of the scene Pebble might match really well. So Pebble looks like it might match. Oh, right here. So the track right here for the roller coaster, part of the Ferris wheel. So Pebble looks good too. So that's a nice one. But I think my favorites are blush and then linen. I love linen with it. And then the water, which is so cute. Okay, so the only non-chromatics prints that I pulled out to look at this with just because of the colors, the first one was Donatella's Sweet Shop, just because it's got a pastel-y, pinky kind of colorway, and it looks very similar right through here. So this kind of color part right here looks really similar in here, so like almost the same. So that would be a good match if you wanted to do that. But the other thing that I actually think might look good... Is Hello Bakery, even though this is Hello Kitty and the other one, and this is Toki Doki. The colors, see, so like the hot pink and the hot pink, and the pinks and the purples, and the like, because this is more of like a sherbet color, really matches. So if you wanted to mix Toki and Hello Kitty, you could. That looks really good. So I think we'll just kind of end this video on this strange angle, but it gives you a nice kind of overall look at the color scheme. The color scheme is beautiful, and I really don't think you can get a bad print placement. Ooh, stay. Now, obviously, there's characters that I like some more than others. So, you know, there's always a more favorable, more desirable, but the whole print is so cute that really, no matter what you get, I can't imagine anybody being truly unhappy with their print placement. Well, that's it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for being here for this first look. It's been a while since I've done one. Please let me know in the comments below if you want me to continue to do first look GGB videos because I really enjoy them. Hopefully you enjoy them too. But again, that's it for me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.